welcome to this episode of Liberty Africa Series. In today's session, we speak to a very distinguished guest from Inchebe, and he is Councillor Chividigi Tadeo. Chividigi Tadeo, welcome to Liberty Africa Series. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I greet you in the name of God. I'm Chividigi Tadeo, Seguri the Nume, Mayweather Blackstone. I'm a councillor of Rugong United Uganda. Thank you. Now, as a councillor, what ideas do you believe in as policies? What policies can you take uh, in Tebe to the next level? As I used to campaign in uh, the past month, I used to take the idea of economic freedom. Uh, I'm also an economic freedom activist. So that activists she has helped me a lot because when you are economically empowered, you can do everything of your mind. So we want to empower the people of Nigeria economically. How do you intend to do that? By training them in the, the mindset that you can do something to earn some money, then you can be economically empowered. You have to do something. Now, as a libertarian, yeah. you say, because you say you're a libertarian. I'm a libertarian. What ideas do you believe in as a libertarian? And how can they be practically implemented in Uganda or in Entebbe as, 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 as a municipality? As a libertarian, I believe in economic freedom, and I believe in uh, property rights, and I believe in, in limited government, a smaller government. Now, just to expand more on about the principles you're talking about, what entails in the, in the pro, pro, property rights, what entails in the limited government, what entails in economic freedom, just try to highlight more these ideas to our viewers so that they can understand them. Okay, in economic freedom, you can, uh, you can in economic freedom, you don't depend on someone. You depend on uh, what you have. You depend on what you do. That's what I, I mean of economic freedom. You have to say your mind in economic freedom. You can't say without your mind. So how do you intend to achieve that economic freedom of your people that voted for you? By sensitizing my people, uh, telling them to do some small business so that they can earn some money, not depending on begging. Yeah. So what do you think is the obstacle of economic freedom? Uh, I think uh, uh, it can help. It can help uh, someone to achieve some money. Black and come back in just a second. Take your tea. First, you is Councillor Chivinige Tadeo, a local councillor in Lugonjo and Tebe. Now, we are discussing with him issues in politics, in libertarianism, ideas that can take Entebbe to the next level. But now, we are still asking him, what are the, some of the obstacles of economic freedom? Now, getting back to you, Councillor, what are some of the obstacles of economic freedom and libertarianism in Entebbe? What I have seen uh, in that question that uh, people of Uganda, of my residents, they, is, they are not, that idea it is new to them. And they think we cannot achieve it uh, because it is a new idea. They, are, they, they think that they, they have been using their idea of depending on people. So this economic field needs you to Depend on yourself. To depend on yourself, so that uh, I'm still sensitizing them about that idea of economic freedom. You have to depend your own, not depending on people. See? And it's a new idea. Mm. So I'm still struggling for it, and I need some support on doing that. You know, transport, making, uh, because the village is, it is very far. So we, we need some funding on that, on that idea. To be all that the whole village to achieve it. Thank you. Now, wh what could be another challenge, as as you, you find as a councillor, mm. in trying to you know talk to the people about these ideas? Mm. Now, I'll, 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 after that, I'll get you back to uh, the issues that are happening in politics in the country. First, councillor. 
Uh, as I told you, that is a new idea. Uh, people need a lot to tell them about that idea of economic freedom. It is a new idea, um, uh, and we are few who are talking about that. So I need some team to help me. Uh, who, who, team, that team which has uh, invested in that what in that idea. Okay. Now let me take you on the spot. Now you are talking about how. Um, people should depend on themselves. It's like you're saying they should not um, ask the government to provide social services, yet it's a mandate of government to provide social services like healthcare. Like, you know, pro they even provide loans to, to people so that they can go in an economy. So, how do you expect people to grow without support, without getting anything from the government? Uh, get because you're saying they should depend on themselves and that economic freedom you're talking about. Mm. Getting some support uh, in the government, it is, it is not bad. But you have also, because we are a government, we people, we are a government, so we have also to depend ourselves in order to be with the right mindset to, do, uh, to help the country to grow and uh, the whole Africa. So now, what should the government do? The what government. should be the proper role of the government? Actually, the government should uh, what the government should do should cope this idea to the government so that they can help to stabilize the country. How does it work uh, um, practically? Uh, uh, actually, by by uh, the government can uh, uh, use the, the materials to tell them about these ideas because even some member of the minister in the government or leaders in the government, they don't know these ideas. So there is a lot to tell them about these ideas because they are good. Like the idea of economic freedom. Okay, now I'll take you on the point of uh, the Afghanistan. Yeah. You've realized that now the government has accepted the Afghanistan refugees to be hosted here in Uganda with the request of the America, the United States. What is your comment about that? Actually, our country, Uganda, it is in the business. <laughs> they are in business of bringing the Afghanistan. They are not helping them because the America, they, are, they, are, they want to, to, to get friendship with America because they were a gap with America. So that's why they have brought the Afghanistan. But they are in business. For the Africa, they need money. Now that, who is doing that business? The government of Uganda. Yeah. They are in business. Because we have a lot of, even Ugandans, they are there in Afghanistan. But they have not brought them here. But they are bringing their Afghanistan because, and they are using the, the hotels they, they are in. They are for the government, for the leader, ministers, or whatever. So they, they, are, they are not helping, but they are in the business. Now what should be done? What should be done? What, what was the government supposed to do right instead of bringing the Afghanistan? Is it a bad action? It is a bad action of bringing what, Afghanistan. What was supposed Uganda. to be done? I think, okay. I think they, will, they would have passed. Because in Afghanistan, we have Ugandans who went there for work. They have left them there. Then they have brought... Uh, non-Ugandans to Uganda. So we don't, as the leaders of Uganda, we don't support that. They would have first brought Ugandans. Then they, br they bring as a whatever, as Afghanistan. So we are not in support of that. They would have taken the Afghanistan to America. <laughs> right, let's go for a short break and come back. This is an interesting guest. We are coming back in just a second. Just stay on. back to that short break and we are still talking to a prominent politician in the area of Entebbe is Councillor Chibiligi Tadeo. Getting back to him. Now Councillor, you are still talking about the issue of refugees but we shall leave that point there and talk about you've been following the Ugandan budget, the national budget and if you look at the budget, the most prioritized areas you're going to see that security is prioritized, loads are prioritized. You as an individual, are you convinced with the priority the government and parliament made? Or there should be other areas that should be instead prioritized? Uh, thank you, Mr. Moderator. 
Uh, on the issue of talks about, I see security is not an issue on, on my side. Uh, me, I'm focusing on health, because when health is, is not there, people, there will not be economic freedom, because people are going to be sick. So health should be catered most, and uh, agriculture should be catered, because Uganda is, is based on agriculture. People are based on agriculture. So security should be the, the fourth issue. So you have to think about the, uh, our government think, think, have to think about health and the agriculture. Now, those two uh, sectors. According to what is happening even currently in Uganda, we see there are hunger <coughs> men in Masaka. Don't you think the security really needs um, some some more funding to, to be able to fight the insecurities that happen in the country? We uh, we have uh, we have many many soldiers in uh, every time they. They pass out the soldiers. They've been taken to Somalia, they've been taken to Congo, they've been taken to Afghanistan. So that is all is the hand of the government. It is hand hand of the government of that uh, people of Masaka. Because we have a lot of soldiers. We can even uh, make money from the army. So that one, that issue has the hand of the government. Now try to expand more, to let us know, to highlight more about what you mean by saying there is a hand of government in the issue of you know, think, killing the people of Massacre. I think the government has, has done less to that issue of Massacre because we have, we have now taken soldiers to Somalia. How can you take soldiers to Somalia without, when uh, your country they are killing people? But so, security is everywhere, okay. even in the U.S. it's there. No, we, can, we have soldiers for making business to Somalia, to Afghanistan, to Congo, everywhere. How can you take, how can you take soldiers to, to those countries to help them in security okay. without securing your area in Uganda and Massacre? Okay, so that means, that's why I've said there is a hand in the government that issue of Massacre. Thank you. Okay, what, what should be done? What should the government do instead? The government should apply those army from outside the country to come and guard their own country. So instead of... Instead uh, of taking them to the other countries. But there is even um, territorial integrity. When the, you, you know, you try to, uh, to fight terrorists before they even enter your country. So you try to, uh, to, to, to take security to countries around you where you, you suspect there are some terrorists that could be affiliated to the security of your country. So what you decide to do is to take your security forces to uh, the neighboring countries before they even reach you. Because you see, they even talked about the ADF going outside the country and they decided to go to Congo and try to uh, make Congo secure before the terrorists enter Uganda. So but, uh, is it a bad idea for government for me, to try to for me, the enemy outside the country? For me, what I think in leadership, you first consider home first before you go anywhere. Home first. First solve the issue of home, then you can uh, uh, look about the borders and whatever. Home first. Because in a, thank, you. Okay. thank you so much. That was Councillor Chibike Tadeo. And let me hope you enjoyed him. Stay tuned in. We still have a lot for you coming in from African Justice Media. I'm George Justice Kanyihamba.